Channel 3, live at 6. 11 local businesses in Palm Springs have fallen victim to acid graffiti vandalism. News Channel 3's Miyoshi Price has more on what that is and what local business owners want the city to do to help. Okay. So when things happen, it's like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to raise my hand. I'm, I'm not going to let it go. This portion of damage could cost thousands of dollars. Palm Springs business owners are gearing up to request support from city council. And what it is, it's, a, uh, it's a, a grant program for vandalism in the downtown district. But I think it's going to be throughout Palm Springs. They, you know, the damage happens everywhere. Many businesses were vandalized in one night. You know, for retailers, we're just coming out of COVID like everybody else. We had a lot of restrictions during COVID, uh, just like restaurants did. But uh, we, we just need the city's help. The Palm Springs Police Department has not made any arrest for the vandalisms but they have identified three possible suspects. And so we know from, from the images that were taken from other places, I can see which one did the damage to our store. This damage is not cheap to fix. It's super expensive because of the size of the glass. And this marker is significant in the sense that you can't just clean it up, it actually etched the glass and damaged it. So, so a lot of the damage is uh, amounted into the thousands of dollars. Leaders in the community like Joy and Daryl are rallying their local business owners to get some help. And so all of the retailers in downtown are supportive of this and they all are, are writing into the city right now. So it's hopefully we'll um, we'll get this resolved and, and we, we appreciate the support of the city council. In Palm Springs, Miyoshi Price, News Channel 3. Some local business owners will present their vandalism assistance program this Thursday at the City Council meeting. Palm Springs Police released a photo of possible suspects. If you have any information, reach out to Palm Springs Police.